This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. You are tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Now, this past Saturday on Triller, you had Jake Paul, Ben Askren. Jake Paul got a first round knockout. Uh, straight right hand, landed right on the jaw, and Ben Askren got stopped. Now, the Triller card is just, it, it was a Triller card. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just weird all the way around. Like, uh, Regis Progray's fight ended weird. Truck Simpson had the problem with the weight. And, you know, he couldn't fight. So, it was just, you know, it was just a trailer card at the end of the day. It just left you talking about controversy more than actual fighting. But they had Oscar De La Hoya commentating, and he was acting very, very uh, weird. Um, people were thinking he was on the, you know, might have had too many of them uh, free Trilla uh, liquor shots. Uh, some people was thinking he might have been back on that uh, on that Snow White, you know what I'm saying? But Oscar De La Hoya basically apologized for his commentary um, on the Trilla card. Um, some people didn't have a problem with the commentary because they just felt like he was just having fun and just, you know, letting his hair down, so to speak. But my question with Oscar De La Hoya is how much damage is he doing to his brand? You know, Golden Boy Promotions. Um, I mean, it's already on a downward spiral because he lost Canelo Alvarez. Um, he was with the, you know, Al Heyman and his stable and, and that whole situation happened with HBO. It just seems like He's not doing things, you know, the correct way in terms of just being in the public eye and then, you know, taking care of his fighters as well. Ryan Garcia has had problems with him. Now, Virgil Ortiz has never said anything in the public, but I'm pretty sure Virgil Ortiz has probably had problems with him. There's other people that's on the Golden Boy roster that has a problem with Oscar. You know, he lost the Canelo deal. He lost Canelo. So it's just... Oscar is not the first person to have personal issues or things like that or do things that's, that's wrong in the public eye. The thing with Oscar is he does things to make you question his, like, mental stability. And if I have a question on whether you are mentally stable or you are mentally able to handle certain things, I don't want to put my career in your hands. So in a sense, like... Oscar De La Hoya, he gives you these moments where you really just worry about him as a, as a person, just as a man. So, yes, he is devaluing his own company and Golden Boy Promotions. Um, if he wasn't doing the things that he was doing on a personal level, he would probably be making more sound and better business moves. Like, there's no way he shouldn't have Canelo Alvarez. Like, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? He should have Canelo uh, and then, of course, Ryan Garcia, Virgil Ortiz, and he's got a bunch of other guys. But the fact that he lost Canelo was just a sign right there. But I just hate to see Oscar De La Hoya do some of the things that he's doing just outside of the sport of boxing that's just shedding a bad light on him and essentially shedding a bad light on his co on his company, Golden to Boy Promotions. Is, is really sad to see because when he was fighting in his prom, like, absolutely love Oscar De La Hoya. He can fight, he can box, he can brawl, and then he was willing to fight anybody that had any type of boxing style. Like, he fought Mayorga, and then he'll turn around and fight Pernell Whitaker. You understand what I'm saying? So, Oscar De La Hoya, I, I just want to see him do well. But when he does some of the things that he does, like what he did on Triller and then, you know, the stuff that happened with um, Al Heyman and 
HBO and what happened with Canelo and his own. Like it's almost like he's stepping on his own toes, like cutting his nose off despite his face. And you just want to see a legend inside of the ring be a legend outside of the ring. And and we just we're not seeing that from Oscar De La Hoya. We may never see it, but I'm I'm rooting for him. I, I hope he does get everything together. You know, at the end of the day, you don't want to see anybody do bad. But it's just frustrating to see him do a lot of the things that he does because it's really costing him. It's really costing him, like, not only personally, but professionally as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. g 5 TV. hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.